All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. We are talking about a seriously over-the-top beautiful day <coughs> here in the end times where it is a breezy, I think it feels like about 72 degrees here at Bugs in a Jar Farm here on this gorgeous Friday afternoon, July 26, 2024. So, while I await the latest influx of vacation guests, uh, you know, my, my apocalyptic sister was just here visiting for a few days, and, uh, the very rare discussion of my brother came up. Uh, this is my brother. We'll call him Billy Bob, who I have not spoken to since 1997. Billy Bob truly is. If, uh, you know, whenever I am talking about clueless fucking morons, okay, whenever I'm trying to fix in my brain the epitome of a clueless fucking moron. I just think of my own brother, Billy Bob, who who is who is so clueless. I I, I, I mean, it's just it's beyond the pale, as they say. But at least he is not a breeder, so I guess uh, he has one point going for him. But. Uh, one thing that makes my brother so clueless is he's absolutely terrified to travel. Uh, so somehow it came up in conversation that my brother's <clears throat> equally clueless girlfriend uh, has actually gotten Billy Bob interested in going on cruises that uh, I guess he is now... Billy Bob, I think, is 76 years old, and his uh, girlfriend has uh, finally talked him in to uh, the pleasure of going on these damn cruises. You know, as my sister said, well, his two favorite things in life are eating and gambling, uh, so he might as well be doing it on a cruise ship. So, uh, anyway, I was, uh, <clears throat> going through the mainstream media today, Yahoo News, and this is from the Miami Herald, although, surprisingly, there are two other versions of this news story this news story pretty much verbatim on other news sites. And I'm thinking, huh, how can three reporters from three different mainstream media news organizations be covering the same story and almost sounding identical? And uh, while your old uh, journalism major and former journalist tries to figure out that mystery, I <clears throat> uh, just could not help sharing this news story with you talking about the Carnival Cruise Line. Carnival is adding three new mega ships. Take a look at what's coming for cruise travel. Yes, all right. Carnival Corporation is ordering three massive new ships, betting that a lot more clueless fucking morons want to sail on bigger vessels. Hmm. The new Carnival Cruise Line ships which would be the largest in the company's fleet, will each have over 3,000 guest staterooms and at full capacity carry almost 8,000 guests. Hmm. 
Carnival also said the ships will have, quote, advanced energy efficiency, waste management, and emission reduction technologies. Yes, I can see how this hard-hitting investigative reporter looked into that. Uh, so let's hear about their cleaner fuel. Carnival's cleaner fuel. The new vessels will be powered by liquefied natural gas. That would give Carnival 16 such ships, or about 30% of its fleet. LNG emits less carbon dioxide emissions than oil or coal and is considered cleaner. That could also benefit the United States as the world's largest natural gas producer. And when I finish this rant on that other channel, we're going to uh, go over to The Guardian and learn how the U.S. became the world's biggest fossil fuel state uh, to tie in to this story. Anybody who's failing to connect the dots between mainstream media journalism, corporate advertising, and greenwashing, uh, this should be a good lesson. <clears throat> Carnival signed an agreement with Italian shipbuilder Financiatari to do the design, engineering, and construction on the new ships. Yes, the three ships are scheduled for delivery in 2029, 2031, and 2033. Good Lord, are they looking ahead. The company has not yet released information on ship amenities, itineraries, or home ports. Okay, this is some serious news, but uh, I guess this is a picture of uh, one of their ships. So this, uh, understand, this cruise ship is not one of the big ones. All right, uh, the ones coming down the pike will dwarf this one. Uh, that is the Carnival Horizon right there. The new order brings to a total of five new ships that Carnival announced this year alone. Earlier this year, the company ordered two ships in its Excel class. Those vessels scheduled to sail in 2027 and 28 uh, were the first new ships, new ships that Carnival ordered in five years. Uh, they're being built by German shipbuilder Meyer Werft. Europe continues to dominate shipbuilding even as even as South Florida yes becomes the cruise capital of the world for passengers so Florida can add another feather to its cap uh, the cruise capital of the world yes <clears throat> Carnival also said this week that it would transfer five more vessels from sister brands to its cruise line. This is uh, Josh Weinstein, CEO of Carnival Corporation, quote, We are doubling down on the growth of Carnival Cruise Lines, our highest returning brand, I bet to keep up with the incredibly strong demand we continue to see. Yes, so what is the need for new cruise ships? Why does the world need more new 
cruise ships. The new orders come amid a booming cruise industry, one that has yielded benefits for South Florida, Port Miami, Florida's largest port set a record for passengers, more than 7 million clueless fucking morons, no doubt, including my own brother, more than 7 million uh, clueless fucking morons uh, passed through Port Miami during fiscal year 2023. That number exceeded the 6.8 million clueless fucking <clears throat> moron passengers in the fiscal year 2019, you, you know, before we had that little hiccup in 2020. But uh, apparently the cruise industry has recovered from the corona panic, so we have a need for new cruise ships. And it's not just Port Miami. Port Everglades. Port Everglades, you know, before it goes underwater. Well, I guess, a, how does a port go underwater? Port Everglades is also growing fast and serving as a formidable competitor to Port Miami. In fiscal year 2023, that port drew just over 3 million passengers, so over 10 million clueless fucking moron uh, cruise ship passengers uh, in, in South Florida last year alone. Uh, port at, while below its high water mark of 3.9 million clueless fucking morons. The Fort Lauderdale port expects to reach that volume in 2025. Globally, globally, more than 31 million people took a cruise last year. More than 31 million clueless fucking morons took a cruise last year, beating the pre-pandemic all-time high set in 2019. Yes, and the trade group Cruise Lines International Association expects nearly 40 million, 40 million clueless fucking morons to be cruising by 2027. Uh, so this is, I guess, humans will not be extinct and 40 million of these surviving humans in 2027 will be taking cruises and new cruise ships will be needed to keep pace with that growth. At least 56, at least 56 new cruise ships are being built right now and will be ready by 2028, accounting for more than 121,000 additional additional ports of call. So uh, between now and uh, between now and 2028 there will be more than 121,000 uh, of these fucking monstrosities uh, pulling into port to uh, unleash this, uh, this uh, locust-like horde on all of these uh, environmentally sensitive uh, environments, and uh, you, you really don't have to go any farther than this uh, for a, a we are so fucked uh, roundup. When, when the single most indefensible, 
unsustainable industry on this planet is exploding with demand. Uh, the, the only reason the cruise industry exists is because just, just beyond clueless fucking morons such as my brother Billy Bob exist. If clueless fucking morons did not exist on the planet, the cruise ship industry would not either. But uh, we have 31 million clueless fucking morons uh, taking cruises this year. And we will have 40 million clueless fucking morons taking cruises uh, three years from now. Just, I, 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 I mean, completely oblivious. <clears throat> Anybody clueless enough to uh, get on a fucking cruise ship, they're, they're not just clueless, they are oblivious to what's going on on the planet. The state of this planet has never entered their consciousness. But anyway, uh, I need to go from this story, but I'm going to go over to that other channel because this was going to be <clears throat> part of my Ain't Gonna Happen Roundup, but it deserves its own rant. How the U.S. became the world's biggest fossil fuel state coming up on that other channel bye guys